Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial. So in this tutorial we're actually going to work on the weapon movement uh, so the movement will actually react to the player's input um, just to give that little bit of extra feel. Okay, so jumping right into it, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put my weapon in um, instead of using a cube. So this weapon is from my personal project, uh, which if you haven't checked out, there'll be a link in the description. Um, so basically the way we set it up is our weapon um, has our weapon controller script and this handles all of the rotations and everything um, and then inside that we have the mesh for our weapon. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, replace this weapon model with my actual weapon itself. Um, but what I want to do first is weapon I'm just going to... Um, I want to set the scale to 1 on everything, uh, just so that the scale isn't messed up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag weapon model out, go back to weapon, change the scale all the way to 1, go back onto the weapon model and put that back in weapon. So I'm just going to use this as a reference. If you're continuing with the cube, just make sure you do remove the box collider. Uh, last thing we want is that interacting with the crouch check. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and drag my weapon in. So I'm using my pump shotgun. I'll just click and drag it straight into the weapon model. Uh, so the first thing you'll notice is the scale is messed up. So that's exactly what I was talking about. I'm going to control Z that and click and drag the pump shotgun into weapon instead. And you can see it's perfectly happy now that we've fixed the scaling. Okay, so now that my pump shotgun is in there, I'm going to remove the weapon model cube that I put in. And we're just going to use my pump shotgun. I'm just going to... Um, Position it a bit different now, just to um, uh, make sure it's all pos positioned nicely. I'll just move that around to, until I'm happy with where it is. Okay, so I think uh, for now, uh, I'm going to leave it here. Um, so if I hit play, we'll just uh, check to see if I have to change anything. Okay, so no, I think... Uh, so far so good, I think this looks quite nice. Um, I'll use this gun for the remainder of the tutorial. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do a few more touches. So the first thing I want to do is open the weapon controller because I want to add another axis to our weapon sway. And that is the Z axis. I'm just going to be quite simple and I'm going to base it off of the Y axis. Um, and I'll probably just do half of its value. So let's open up the weapon controller. And first thing I want to do is add another line here. And we're going to be doing basically the exact same as above, except it's going to be a lot simpler. So the new axis is the Z axis. What I want to do is I want to set that to the Y axis divided by 2. So nice and simple. We don't have to worry about clamping it because uh, the Y axis is already clamped. Um, let's just go in and take a look to make sure... I'm kind of getting the, the right feel that I want. So I'm going to hit play. And the feel I'm after is uh, for the weapon to actually lean into the direction I'm looking. Um, so from what I can tell, let's let's actually uh, let's make it very apparent so that I can actually see what direction we're looking in. So I divided by two, I'm going to do times by two. And we'll see how this behaves now. Okay, so I kind of like that. Um, let me reverse. Let me reverse it. So um, I'm going to take that value, put it in brackets, um, and I'm just going to pop a minus in front of it. I don't actually think I needed the brackets. <laughs> just did that out of habit. But let's have a look. I'm going to hit play now. Okay, so I think. Without the minus was better. I'm just going to control Z that. Um, and instead of times 2, let's just try it with with Y. Not dividing, not timesing. Let's just see how it looks. Okay, I kind of like that. Um, I'm going to keep that for now. And um, what we'll do is later we can um, attach it to a variable uh, in case we wanted to change it a little without obviously having to come in here and change the code. Uh, but for now, I, I kind of like that. Let's keep it like that. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is 
when we press A or D or move left and right on the joystick, I want our weapon to rotate depending on the direction. And forward and back, I want a very subtle uh, movement on the X axis. So the two axes we're playing with is that uh, new Z axis um, and the X axis. Axes, axis. <laughs> Okay, so very nice and simple. It's going to be a few more smooth damps, and I know we're starting to get a lot of smooth damps going on, uh, but we will come back and tidy this up a little later on. Let's uh, let's just get our working for now. So we're going to create a brand new axis. I'm just going to copy these, uh, just because I want it to behave the same. Um, instead of new weapon rotation, uh, we'll do new weapon movement rotation. Um, and then we'll do the same new weapon, movement, rotation, velocity, target weapon, movement, rotation, target weapon, movement, rotation, velocity. Cool. Now that those are set, I'm actually going to open up our SCR models. And first thing I want to do is change this from sway. Let's just call that weapon sway. Um, and then a little further down right at the bottom, let's create a new weapon movement way and inside here so we're going to have uh, some very similar values uh, so we also want the inverted we're going to want smoothing uh, I'm not going to worry about reset smoothing we'll just use a normal smoothing um, and we won't worry about clamping um, so the way we're going to do this is we'll have a public float for movement sway x um, and as you can imagine we'll have the same for uh, our y as well not t y uh, it's got movement sway x movement sway y um, we'll bring inverteds across um, so we'll just change them to movement sway inverted so we got movement sway y inverted movement sway x inverted um, and I would say movement sway smoothing. Cool, nice and easy, nice and simple. So we got movement sway X, Y, inverted, inverted, and smoothing. All right, so let's go back to this. So let's use our new variables. Uh, so I'm going to come down here, and we're going to be doing similar stuff to this, um, except instead of our input view Y, if you click on it and hit F12. It'll take us to our character controller script. Um, and we also want to make our input movement a public. So I'm going to copy this hide in inspector tag. I'm going to place it just above our input movement. And I'm then also going to make it a public. So we should be able to see it from our weapon controller script now. Okay, so the next bit is pretty simple. So we'll alter the target weapon movement rotation. Uh, so what I'll do with this is uh, we'll just say target weapon movement rotation dot z. So that's the axis we want to edit. Instead of plus equals, I'm just going to say equals settings dot movement sway. Um, I just realized we have x and y. Uh, we actually want, let's go back to Unity quick. Uh, actually, we'll leave it as x and y just because that's the input. But obviously, we want z and x. Okay, so this is going to get a little complicated. So uh, the Z axis is actually our X axis with our input. So this would be sway X. Um, then what we'll do is we'll times that by, um, and then we want our brackets because we're going to do similar to what we did up here. Um, so I'll put in our condition, which will be our settings. Um, and we'll have our dot movement sway x and then a question mark for our two values. For now, I'll just put two zeros. Um, and then what we can do is, so we need to times this. Um, so that should be a bool. So we need it inverted. Okay, that's my mistake. So settings dot uh, movement sway x inverted. And if this is true, um, we want negative, and then we kind of want to use our character controller input again. So negative character controller 
and then input movement dot x. I'm just going to copy that without the minus and we'll use that if inverted is false. So nice and simple. Don't need to worry about time dot delta time because we're straight up just setting a value. Um, and I'm going to copy this as well. And let's just change from Z to X. Um, and instead of sway X, we can go sway Y. And then instead of sway X inverted, sway Y inverted. And then obviously for our inputs, it's dot Y. All right. Um, I'm then also going to copy our smooth damps that we have here. I'll just paste this down here. So don't need, don't need to worry about clamping because we're not adding uh, relatively to a value. We, we're just straight up setting a value. So clamping would be pointless. Um, except instead of our weapon rotations, we want to use our new rotations. Um, so instead of target weapon rotation, we're going to use target weapon movement rotation. I'll just control F on it and then replace all of these. Uh, obviously we want to reference our target weapon movement rotation velocity. These variable names are getting huge. <laughs> and we'll pop that in there. Um, and then we also want to use our new weapon movement rotation down here. Instead of these, I'm just going to pop that in there and obviously use its velocity as well. Cool. All right, so just like above, our target weapon rotation is our actual value, uh, which we're constantly bringing it down to zero. Um, and our new weapon movement rotation, um, but we're basically smooth damping it to this target weapon rotation. So now what we need to do is we need to use this new weapon movement rotation. Um, so down here where we set our local rotation, just add a little plus and then paste in our new variable, new weapon movement rotation. Cool. Let's go into Unity and just uh, see what this looks like. So I'm going to click on our weapon. And I'm just going to give the give them some random values here. So I'm just going to say 10 on the X, 5 on the Y. I'll ignore the inverted. And the smoothing we'll just put to 1 for now. Let's just uh, take a look how this looks. So I'm going to hit play. Okay, so you see that's already looking quite nice. Um, and the Y is looking good, except I'm going to invert that because um, what's that little tick box? Because it'll look a bit more natural. So see when I'm moving forward, the gun comes forward a little. When I move back, it goes down a little. So obviously that isn't as subtle as I wanted. So I'm just going to put that to one. See what that looks like. I want it to be very subtle. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it like that for now. I think the, the z-axis is more important as it's a more clear indication. You can see we can now move around. Uh, let's take a look and make sure that the smoothing is actually working. So I'm going to set this to 2, uh, just so we can see a bit of a bigger change. So it does, it does look smooth to me. Um, let's change this to 10, just double check it. Okay, so the issue is, is I don't think we've actually used our movement sway variable. Uh, so let's go back into here. And yeah, we're just using sway smoothing and sway reset smoothing. Um, so let's change that to our movement sway smoothing for both of these smooth stamps. And let's go back into Unity and take a look. Okay, so not set it to 10, just going to set it to 1. That should be slow enough. And we'll see how this looks. Yeah, so you can see that's a lot slower <laughs> and in terms of resetting as well. Okay, so let's uh, change that to something like 0 0.2. Okay, nice and smooth. Uh, kind of what we expect. Um, okay, so it still looks kind of bland because um, we don't have any walking animations or anything. Um, but in the next uh, next tutorial, we're going to be doing walking animations and jumping animations. Uh, so the actual weapon itself will come to life. Um, so yeah, once that's implemented, I think uh, it'll look pretty decent. Um, if you need any help, obviously just join the Discord um, and post. Um, otherwise, I will see you in the next tutorial, and thank you for watching.